Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on part 2 of Mediolanum. And in this part we're gonna be going through the biggest invasion which, to clarify, happens in 204 BC. We get the highest level housing available which are some villas. We use an interesting getting technique with food to distribute food to far corners of the map and all of this on top of stabilizing the three deep housing blocks. So, going through some interesting challenges in the second half of Mediolanum. But first, let's deal with the furniture crisis that we left off with at the end of part one. What just happened? What? No furniture? Is it the second type of food that made this a problem? It is the second type of food. Jeez. Uh, that's not good. That, that's not good. Uh, how do we solve this problem? You know, if I have a couple markets on the outside, it would actually help distribute goods a little bit better. Right? Especially to the 2 by 2s on the outside. Okay, for the most part, things didn't mess up too much. But I could... Ah, uh, that's gonna kill my employment? No, more people are moving in on this side. <laughs> Uh, the market's getting vegetables, uh, sort of ruined our distribution of food. But these extra markets on the outside will help provide resources to the 2 by 2s at least. Uh, so that's gonna be okay. Meanwhile, I could do some damage control here. If I do that and that and replace those with small statues there and there. These houses are devolving further. Jeez. They ran out of pottery? Alright. Three extra markets around the outside should help solve these problems. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We can fix this by doing that. We gotta fix this. Okay, okay. This three deep thing, you can see it's not the most stable of things all the time. That's fixed there. At least. We can put that down there. That's gonna go there. We need to fix this side. All three of these devolved. More people are moving in, right? Actually, with the markets on the outside now... Are the market No, it won't be stable enough. We have to do this. Okay, we'll just rebuild that. That just takes a bit of time. Not the worst thing in the world, I think we salvaged it. Th thankfully, we set up a new housing area here. Uh, anything we can very quickly fix here? That's a bit annoying, but I'm not gonna bother too much. We can have another row of houses there. Uh, medium statues. Like that. Looks good. Why are these devolving again? Falling desirability? No, no, no. That, that must be a mistake. Jeez, what, what is... Supply of furniture? Is it just not enough furniture here? Vegetables, okay, vegetables. Vegetables are being 
See, th this is why Pharaoh can can make things much easier, much easier. Still short by 24 employees, that's fine, that's fine. I want to get this right, I want to get this right. The outside markets should help with the distribution of goods. We'll just keep an eye on the houses. <laughs> this is a pain, this is a pain, but we'll get it, we'll get it eventually. Enemies closing, okay, I'm not gonna worry. Are our troops back? Our troops are not back yet. So this warehouse is now off getting furniture as well. These markets around the outside are now evolving some things. Okay, there we go. Food is being distributed, pottery is being distributed, furniture is being distributed, furniture, pottery, oil, oil, both types of food. Okay, okay. We'll wait for that to stabilize. Meanwhile over here, no problems. No problems on this side. Well, food supply is a little low, but we just did a first feeding, I think. Okay. <laughs> uh. More finishes come in, okay. More potteries coming in, okay. And I think it's getting... Oh, come on, why'd you evolve that way? You have to remove that, let that one evolve, so you can do that. Okay. Now, has everything gone back to normal? This one here hasn't. Be easier if I just did that. Get rid of that. Okay. This side on the right, also. Couple houses off. Uh, so that's now where the single house is. If I get rid of that, one of these should evolve into two by twos, yes. But in the wrong way. If I do that. You know what? Just clear this whole thing. There. Okay. Employees needed distant battle. Employees needed means we are not too far off. We might need another market here, actually. Looking at things, right? Actually, it's not we need another market. We, we need more food. If I shift the granary... Those should evolve, yes. Yeah, this might be a little bit too much strain on this area. I think I will get rid of this row of houses. It's a bit too much of a strain. Okay. Ah, ah. Just in case, let me do this. Now if I speed things along... All the resources are in. What? How did... Did I not do that? I left too much of a gap there. Okay. So now this can all be houses as well. That can be a house there. That can be a couple of houses there. We can now do this. And we're back on track to our three deep housing area. Okay. Your victorious soldiers march home proudly. All of your people bask in their glory and goodwill fills the city. Fantastic. A triumph. 
So our troops back. They are back. Fantastic. We didn't lose too many. Just a few here and there. Okay. Unemployment is coming back, which is good. This is getting more pottery. More pottery is around. Furniture is looking okay. Just wait for these houses to move back in. And we can get back to where we need to be. And look at that, the outside markets are actually fully stocked and these markets are touching all of the 2x2s on the outside, maintaining their stature. And we can fix that. We can get rid of those. We can get rid of all the statues actually. And just slowly replace them. There we go. And is that a... what is that? Oh, right. That's the tile which needs to not be a house. Okay. Ah! Okay, and we did it. Yes, yes, that looks fantastic. This side... How are you doing? Yeah, we just had too many houses here for a little while. So I'm going to... Remove a house there. Okay. <laughs> I just really want this block to be fully operational and stable. There we go. I think it's done. It's done. This block is complete. One statue there. Okay. And that should... Come on. I just really want this block done. Done! This housing block is now complete. It's now complete. It went through a few problems. It went through a few problems. Uh, it really started to fall apart when we introduced vegetables. Wait, it's not complete. They're not Grand Insulates. They're not Grand Insulates. Don't worry, we'll fix that soon. Now, where are they coming from? This left side. So almost guaranteed they'll be attacking the left side. Okay, let's bring these guys over. The infantry first. Then we're gonna need the javelins. Alright, alright, and the cavalry, which will take the brunt of the damage. We filled up on marble, huh? Uh, I guess we'll just keep the oracles going around here. And I actually never got rid of these. This should be a row of oracles. There we go, that's looking good. How many invaders? I don't know. We'll wait. Uh, now, these things need more entertainment, so all we have to do is actually have a Colosseum somewhere on this right side. Can I get away without this reservoir? I think I can. If I just move this reservoir to there. Clear this off, clear this off, and then we can have the Colosseum right here. There we go. The inside row does not need Colosseum access because... Uh, because it's... it's they can only be one by ones. Only the outside needs that. Uh, tree root for more iron? Okay. Look how much money we have. It's insane. Okay. Now, how is this invasion? It's about the same size as last time, actually. I think it's three infantry and then, what's that? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six elephants? Yeah. So let's get our infantry into their proper positions. Javelins are gonna stand there.
gonna shift that one over. There we go, that looks good. We're gonna move these guys forward one. There, okay. And the cavalry will take the brunt because might as well let them die because they don't take weapons. Look at that! Yes! Grand Insules, would you look at that? That is fantastic. And also, the music just stopped. There we go. Ah! Our troops have arrived. We've got six towers behind this. We've got this row of javelins. This is pretty much the best we can do. It should be sufficient. Look at that. Now, how do we get the gladiator, uh, the lions over on this side? I'm gonna have to shift it here. That should walk this way, right? Let me just see where this lion spawns. Enemy's not here yet, that's fine. If I just check... Entertainment... Colosseum... So you can see here, this lion is walking down this side, covering that side, and I think... Yeah, I think the Colosseum sent out a walker. No, it's still walking the wrong way. But we have a working Colosseum. Ah. Uh, this actually has to be there. I know this messes up the layout a little bit, but it's gonna be required to get this properly working. Okay. They are coming down this way, right? They are, okay. Now let's deal with this. Just to make that look nice, yes. Okay. Grand Insulators. I <laughs> can't believe I got the three deep housing to work. All right, come on then. Uh, counting TLS actually said we could lure one infantry group in first. Come on. Come on, come on. You want to attack, I know. Oh, we killed a couple. There we go. That weakens their numbers severely. Oh, fantastic. Can we bring the next group in? <laughs> I think they're all charging in now. There we go. Okay. Allow the horses to take the brunt. They die pretty quick, but they, they slow things down. I'd rather them die. I'd rather them die. If you have some unemployment, place some extra towers in between these. Uh, there's walkers. You can see that there's sentries that walk out. One survivor, two survivors. We've got Mustafa again and Bashim. Ah, I remember this being a lot harder. <laughs> uh, barely lost anything. We've lost one legionnaire and a bunch of horses. Ah, we can be super efficient. Now, is the entertainment? Uh, Colosseum. Is it still walking that way? Why? It should totally walk this way. Um. Oh, do you see that? The gladiator walking to the Colosseum provides Colosseum access. I did not know that. You see that? The gladiators walk this way, that covers all of these houses. And then the lions walk this way that cover all of these houses. How interesting. But now, if we look at... Come on, this, this lion has to walk this way. Yes, there we go. It's complete. It's complete. The three deep housing block is complete at Grand Insulae level. 
How's our unemployment? 21%! <laughs> ah, unemployment's skyrocketing, but look at that. We, we've done it. We've done it! I'm so happy with this block. I've always wanted to do a three deep housing block and it's done. Look at that. A row of medium insulate round the front and then grand insulate. I know that's a little that's a little notch in the design there because of how it overlaps, but the compromise is to remove one house. So it's either efficiency or aesthetics and I'm going to go for efficiency in this case. I'm going to keep that one house there. Why isn't that evolved? Desirability. It's not quite done. It's not quite done. You know what? Let's just move two wheat farms around the back. And this will fix the desirability problem. Yes. 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 Now it's done. Now it's done. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. There we go. No real gardens behind those oracles. <sighs> With just two granaries, one for vegetables, one for... Uh... Actually, with this here now, we actually do not need that. Because this is walking this way, so we don't need that to cover that side. Efficiency. Now, we have a ton of unemployment. Which means what I'd like to do is actually set up a bit of a villa area. You know, can I have this road here become a villa area? I might be able to. If I go ahead and put down a, a gatehouse right here and we could have like can we have a third type of food on this map we can import meat we can have a third type of food and we can have wine yeah so it needs a supply of wine before it can evolve really can we not feed these houses we just have too many houses I think oh well you guys can go. Um, so yeah, a villa area will get things going quite nicely. We're gonna need three granaries. Engineer's post is there. We're gonna need... Furniture. Okay. And we can have another gatehouse right there. Okay. Engineer's post just to make sure nothing burns down. Okay, and this is going to be accepting wheat. This is going to be accepting vegetables. This is going to be getting meat. This is going to be getting pottery. This is going to be getting furniture. And this is going to be... This is going to be accepting oil. And this is going to be accepting meat. Correct? Correct. So that's going to be accepting oil. And this is now going to be set to getting oil and not getting furniture. Is pottery really struggling here? Set that to getting pottery as well, getting furniture pottery, getting just pottery. But there should be so much stocked up in these outside markets, so the houses should never devolve, okay. Pottery is not short, you are now getting more oil, oil supply is okay. So this is now set to getting oil, okay. We're gonna import oil into here. And just to make sure employment stays stable, I'm gonna put houses there. Okay, this is going to be an expensive row. So I can just sort of... Oh, we get a triumphal arch. Would you look at... Can I use a triumphal arch instead of... Ooh, if I actually shift this all over by one and set three warehouses here. Could I use a triumphal arch for the luxury palace area. So what was this? This one is getting the meat, right? Yeah. This one is... Let's just redo this. 
This is why they introduced a do not accept all button in future games. <laughs> and this one is accepting oil. By the way, this one is accepting oil because it's closest to the trade route and traders always sell first before buying. We have this triumphal arch. Where is it? There we go. Can I, can I do this? Does the triumphal arch act as a roadblock? It does not. It does not. <laughs> uh. If I delete the triumphal arch, do I get it back? I need to know this. If I delete the triumphal arch, do I get it back? If not, that's fine actually, I can make this work. You know what, I could just test it. I do not get it back. That's fine. We could make that work. Because... There's houses there, there's houses there, okay, that'll be fine. So they can walk through here into an area that will be for the palace area. Yeah, that's fine. Backup engineer's post. Now, I will need to clear off a little bit of space down that side. And I will need to start, let's see, if I have a market, No. I'll still need to put a gatehouse. <laughs> that looks so silly. You know what? I, I can make this work without a gatehouse. We'll make it work. Ah. Meanwhile, I'm gonna need... Not there. Uh... There. Engineer's post. Wheat. And... Uh, farms. Vegetables. That should be okay. Now, if I have a market here... All of this is working. We're not importing meat. We gotta start importing meat. And also, we're gonna need houses to move in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we're gonna have a market there. One, two, three. So we're gonna do something like this. One, two, three, four. So we can do... One, two, three, four. One, two. We'll have it there. One, two, three, four. Like that. And we're gonna have this controlled like this. That's gonna be our palace area, or villa area rather. Stuff is coming in here, fantastic. These farms can begin working. We're just gonna put down a gatehouse right here to make sure employment is accessible. And we can start putting down services. Uh, actor column. Gladiator school. And a lion house. Which means I'll move the gatehouse over. Get out of the way. Okay. So then we can go ahead and put down our Colosseum. Our amphitheater and our theater on this side 
and then we can start putting down things like... Oh, we're under attack again. There's so many invasions here. There's so many invasions. From this side, which means they should almost certainly come from here. I'm not gonna worry. I think we're fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> alright, alright, we get it. There's a lot of troops. Okay, they're done. <laughs> uh, let's position all this correctly. And we're gonna kite this to make sure we don't lose too much from this invasion. Because the invasions are so frequent here. Come on. Come on. Did we kite the... Uh, did we attract the elephants? I think we did. Ooh, love how those towers deal with those elephants. Come on. I know you want to attack. They're just sort of running all over the place. Come on. What are they doing? Alright, here comes the first batch of infantry. Ooh, all four towers hit their mark. They're really going for my... Did they rush all the way back there? Okay, they, they sort of went for... No, not you. They sort of went for my auxiliaries there. Come on. This invasion is so big, it's taking them forever to attack. It seems like I can't attract the elephants. Can I get the elephants to, to come attack? If we can deal with the elephants now. There we go. Let the horses tank some of that. Deal with the elephants, and I'm not gonna worry about that too much. How's your employment, by the way? 11%? Okay. Okay. Oh, the horses are running away. <laughs> Alright, we expended the horses. There we go. Let's close ranks here. More things on the way. Are they finally coming in here? They have like this little diamond formation in the middle. How can they just waltz right through all my soldiers? Oh, and then they break up. Oh, I don't remember them doing that. 
We might actually lose quite a few soldiers here. Oh, you're engaged, is it? Okay, okay. Okay. Everyone go home. That invasion hit pretty hard. Okay. We lost quite a few soldiers and enemies are at the gate already. 13, 14, 2, 8, 7, 6. Okay, hopefully we can get enough troops back in time. <laughs> ah. Okay, but meanwhile, uh, seems like things are going okay here. Uh, what temple can we put here? Neptune, Mars, Neptune, Mars, Library, School, And I think this academy will reach... Like that, okay. Neptune, Mars here can be replaced with oracles, like that. There we go, okay. Two markets should be able to reach this. It's okay that this is not a gatehouse because with two markets it should distribute fine. I know our prosperity should be <laughs> way more than we require, but this is, this is gonna be amazing. Uh, what services do we not have? Bathhouse? And we don't have... a forum to tax these because what's the point of having expensive housing if we don't tax them? <laughs> uh, and then... We can actually have, like... Uh, let's see... Barber? Doctor? couple engineers posts to make sure nothing falls down and that should actually be okay right as long as things don't consistently walk out the trample arch it'll be okay uh, yeah i almost forgot the engineers post right you know what just in case i'm gonna put one there as well and actually i should set this to the doctor and the barber. So things walk a little bit better. Clear that up. These markets have all the food required. We just need to make sure, see if the markets do actually walk down this way at all. <laughs> Will the markets walk down this way at all? I have no idea. We'll find out. Uh, besides that, everything's looking okay. Can I actually get this house evolved? There we go. Now, is any market lady actually going to walk down this way? Yes, it is. And it's just going to keep on evolving. There we go. Villas are on the way. That's going to give us... I think each villa supports quite a few people, right? Uh, oracles. We do have space for oracles like that. And is there any more space down here? Engineer's post. If I just put an engineer's post right there, we can actually get rid of these two and replace those with oracles as well. I'm not sure, I don't think we can get 4x4 four four housing on this map, right? We need a hospital? I think it'll be okay if I squeeze it in like this. This hospital should be able to walk up that way. And I think that's everything, right? That's everything. So all of our extra employment is going into this villa area, which it's now... Is a supply of furniture? Come on. Oh, they haven't taken furniture? Okay, they gotta take things as they come. Okay. These two houses are being evolved as well. Does not have access to fountain water. Oh, we're not... We gotta import wine as well, right? We need wine. Uh, 
but having it like that... Not the best. I'd rather have... another warehouse for it. This one is going to be accepting wine. And we'll just leave this for the meat. And we will now import wine. And this road is only connected to this housing area, which is not demanding wine. So it should be fine. Meanwhile, we can just go Oracle, Oracle, Oracle. You know what? I don't know if we could ever get a blessing from Mars, but let's try get one. Okay. Is furniture in? I don't know. Okay, they're getting furniture now. We have, we have so much money. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to end this mission until we actually face the final invasion because the, apparently the first time I played this, um, we never faced the final invasion, which is, it's a big deal. 7% unemployment, ah, oh, we still need another 4, 5, 6, 3,000 people. Run out of furniture. There's plenty of furniture. Yeah, we just need the market ladies to, to walk the right way. Okay, there we go. Needs more desirability, so I guess I'll... 3 by 3s Did I miscalculate the spacing of this? I did a little bit. I can actually shift all of this one over. Which I am going to do, because I have too much money. Uh, so it's house 3, 1, 2, 3. Oracle, Oracle, Statue, Fountain. Statue, Statue. Fountain. Oracle, Oracle. And we're gonna need Large Statue, Large Statue, Large Statue. There we go, they're already Grand Insulets. Now they just need wine, which can come in no problem. Ah, looking good. Why did I... Oh, that one is too close. Oh! We need 7,000 people on this mission. We need 7,000. Ah, uh, here comes another invasion. Okay, let's... This side, okay. That gives us more towers to work with. But we haven't fully replenished our troops. So this could be a problem. A blessing from Mars would actually be handy. I don't know if that'll help, but... I guess we won't have time to bring these along. As in, to, to replenish these. I'm just gonna bring them along. Okay, okay, okay. Towers can't shoot above walls. Yeah, that's if they break through. Uh, that's if they break through. You know, perhaps it would be better to just have more towers, yeah? There's not enough space there. That's probably a better option to have more towers rather than have the sentries. 
Because the towers one-shot kill things, and... Okay, this actually doesn't look intensely scary. But I'm gonna have to bring these guys over now. And we're going to try and kite in infantry as much as possible. So let's just try to track them as soon as possible. Okay. That's probably better, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can build walls in front of the towers. That might... Maybe, maybe. Let's see if we can lure some over here. Okay, come on, come on. Now, can someone tell me, is this the big invasion? Is this the big invasion? Or is there a bigger one after this? Okay, okay. Just pulling one infantry group over to minimize casualties. You can see we can kill quite a few of them before they get to us as well. And there goes the towers firing away. Oh, the towers at the back can shoot. Look at that. Let's make sure they don't attack our towers. Okay, let's preemptively try and lure in another group of infantry here. And what was that message? Distant battle? Okay, it's not the final invasion. It's not the final invasion. And here they come. Now you guys told me overlapping infantry does actually help. And all right, this is the best we can do. Towers are going at it. Yeah, the towers at the back are actually shooting. Would you look at that? These three do help. Elephants on the run. You are getting out of here, Muammar. Did we... We held it off? We held it off. All right, return to fort. Return to fort. Actually, it's fast if we do this. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. Last is invasions at 199 BC. Okay, so that's probably the next invasion, right? Next invasion is on the way. That's the final invasion. Get that fugitive. This one elephant, Muammar. No, sorry, I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, need a supply of wine. Do these have? They have wine. Okay, they just need a market lady to walk down that way. Which means I actually do not need these. What happened to you? Falling desirability. I delete... What? How does... What? Falling desirability? Uh, let me just do this, do this, do this, do this. What's up with this? That's a line properly. I deleted towers and it was falling desirability? What? Oh, I haven't plazaed up this road, have I? Go plaza that up. Oh wait, no, it's not falling desirability. It is. Uh, it is the market ladies being a bit difficult. You know, if I put two markets on this side, perhaps a destination walker will actually help. Okay. The market ladies are just walking out that way too much. I wanted this to be a gatehouse, but. Not quite working out as intended. Ah, oh, can't believe we held that off. Plenty of resources going around, though that granary is full. So wait, the market ladies... Oh, there we go, there we go. Soon evolve, small villa. Yes, medium villa. Evolving again. Large villa. Needs a third type of food. Come on, we've got a third type of food. 
Where's the market lady? Overlay. Commerce. Food stocks. There you are. Okay, two extra markets around the back there. They're sort of backup markets. When that market lady walks back, we should be able to then evolve these. It needs more time worth shipping other gods. Okay, uh, what do we have here? We have Neptune and Mars. You can have Ceres and Venus. And we'll just... Actually, no, we need Neptune, Mars, Ceres. Place that with another oracle there. So do we have one extra temple to Venus? We do. Ah, I, I much prefer having even number of temples. That's a Mercury temple there. If I replace this temple with a Mars temple, and replace that with an oracle, we can have even number of temples there. Okay. Second type of wine. Okay, so there's no other type of wine we can have, right? So this is maximum level housing on this map. There we go. We've got villas. It's looking good. Filling this up with statues. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put down medium statue. We did it! We've got maximum level housing. Why did this run out of oil? These markets gotta get on it. <laughs> A market lady just passed! How'd you run out of oil? I don't understand. Wait. You just evolved because of... What? How did you run out of oil? A market lady just walked by. Why didn't that market lady give you oil? What? That is so weird. What? And now this... These houses evolved, but these didn't? Oh, it doesn't have access to a local bathhouse. Oh, I see. Baths were the problem. It wasn't oil, it was bath- but wait, how do- how do these houses have access to bathhouse and- what? That's very confusing. And why are these markets not getting anything? Commerce, food stocks. Oh, these markets are not actually touching- That's very strange behavior. Okay, that means- Neptune Mars needs to move over. Neptune Mars. And the markets actually need to be here so they're closer. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Why are those two markets not doing their job? There we go. There we go. There we go. Right? These two markets here are fully stocked and they walk down this way occasionally. These markets are now getting resources as well. Okay, there we go. Now it's done. Now it's done. <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. Population 4,000. How much can sit in here? 69 plus 31. That's uh, 70... 100 people? So this is 600 people right here. Very good. That will be useful. Now this area over here is sort of maxed out on population as well because of food stocks. That's fine. These food stocks here... Uh, where, where, how can we have another 2,000 people move in? That's actually a bit of tricky. But we've actually been streaming for a long time today. We've been going for another... a while. <laughs> so I think this is a good spot. Oh, come on! What now? It did it again. Really? Why? What is... what is the problem? What is the actual problem here? It says run out of oil, but...
Okay. These markets are stocking up as well, so that's fine. Alright, so now we have to get this going. So the final invasion is on the way and we need to reach a total population of 7,000. And uh, all besides that, everything else is fine. And I was thinking about this for a while. Let me slow the game down. Do we have unemployment right now? 1%? Okay. I was thinking about this the other day and there is actually a solution to what we can do. What I need are a couple of warehouses. A couple of warehouses down this side. And I'm gonna put these two here. And one is gonna be set to accepting wheat. And one is gonna be set to accepting vegetables. And we are going to overload on farms down this way. And any surplus is gonna be dumped into there, which shouldn't be a problem. And we'll leave a gap there. Uh, we could also just continue to have maybe a couple wheat farms, a couple vegetable farms on this side. Oh, I should totally move this. Aqueduct. We can have that wrap around like that. So we can break this. And we can have more farms down this way. Okay, so that's going to oversupply food this side. And that means with the food going into warehouses, we can now go and build a housing block wherever we like. And look at this. We can totally just demolish this forest here, make room for some housing. And we can use warehouses to get the food over to the housing block without a road connection, which is going to make things so much easier. All right. So all of those farms are also gonna be messing with our employment. We gotta make sure we can actually support that. Uh, is food actually doing okay on this side? Food is struggling a little bit on this side, but it's okay. Um, I could probably make this a bit more efficient if I move things around, but uh, it's a little tricky. Can I actually make it work? Actually, if I have a... If I just get rid of that and that, I could actually fit in one extra wheat farm here, I think. Yeah. And this might actually be able to solve our food problem. I know that blocks that road connection, so the, the cart pushes have to go around now, but it might actually solve our food problem. Okay, what is that? Employees needed, okay. Short by 16, not too concerned. Do all of these have access to employees? Not quite yet. Um, if they walk up this way, they do pass those two houses. I think just in case I'm gonna put two houses there and an engineering post here. Okay. So now that we're producing so much food, uh, we're so pleased with trade potential, we are now willing to trade even more of the following goods. Okay. All right, so now that we've got that down, we need 3,000 people in the city. Money is not an issue. Uh, by the way, have we thrown... Mars is delighted. Can I throw... Uh, nine units of wine. How much wine do I have? Plenty of wine. Holding it. Yeah, let's hold a grand festival for Mars. There we go. If we could get a Mars blessing, that would be really good. Now, over on this side, let's plan some kind of housing block. How do I want to do this? I need warehouses getting food. So what I could do is one, two, three. You could do something like this. And there'll be a granary here. And we could do something like this. And we're gonna have the road come out like that. I know this looks weird, but I have something in my head here. Don't worry. We're gonna have a couple engineers post. And we're gonna have a granary right there. And we're gonna need like a bunch of warehouses like this for getting food. That looks excessive, but it's gonna be required. And we're gonna set all of these to just not accepting anything right now.
Just don't accept anything. Ah, oh, this is tedious. This is why they added in the don't accept anything button in Pharaoh. <laughs> oh. I hope you see what I'm doing here. Because with this trick, we can actually not have a road connection to the farms, but still have food go anywhere in the map. And I can fit two blocks on the left and right of this. Is food gonna start flowing in here? I'm not too sure. Oh, these two are not functioning. There's actually food just sitting around. Is this... Ah, oh, there we go. All the vegetables are now gonna flow over to this side. That's gonna be fantastic. Okay. Now, uh, we actually kind of need two granaries, don't we? So I guess we'll have another granary here. And we could have another couple houses. And just for security, we are going to just make sure there are plenty of engineers here. So we can do that. And we're going to need warehouses for not food as well. So... We're gonna need pottery. And we're gonna need furniture. There's plenty of furniture nearby, but pottery is gonna be a bit of a trip. Uh, do we need oil as well? I think we do need oil. Currently this one is set to accepting. We're gonna set that to... We'll keep that as accepting first. And we're going to have another couple warehouses here, there, and there. This looks extremely excessive, doesn't it? <laughs> this is going to be accepting oil. And we're going to wait for the oil to come in. And this is going to be getting extra uh, pottery, rather, because that's a bit of a long trip. Okay, looks good. Have those two houses moved in? Yes, look at all of this food moving in here. Which means we can now... What is... I forgot to set this. Uh, you know what? Just delete it. Warehouse. I missed one. This was supposed to be not accepting anything, but we are now going to shift things around. Okay, so now we can start getting food. So I'm going to set this to... Getting wheat. Getting wheat. Getting wheat. Oh, this one was not set. E I thought I set all of these. How did I miss these? This is going to be set to getting vegetables. Getting vegetables. Getting vegetables. And getting vegetables. So this is going to get a lot of food over this side. You can see there's the cart pushers going off there. Uh. Cha-ching888 in chats uh, did point out that I missed two. <laughs> uh, eight warehouses to get food will need to travel 170 tiles a year for each warehouse's cart pusher. Counting TLS. Managing to do the math very handily. Look at that. Plenty of food has stocked up. So we now have... Uh, Four warehouses each getting two types of food, bringing it over this side. And we're going to set this to getting wheat and set this to getting vegetables. And I'm not sure if I have to change the warehouses back to accepting. Uh, I'm not sure. Do, do the granaries just get from a getting warehouse? I'm, I'm really not too sure. But anyway, it seems like we're a little short on people. Here. We're going to need another couple of houses, I think. To make sure employment is stable. There we go. A grand festival to Mars. He's charmed. Don't suppose you could give me like a, a blessing or something. Right? <laughs> that would be nice if it's at all possible. Um, can I fit more oracles around somewhere? There's a few temples here I'd like to change the oracles. Neptune and Mercury. Uh, I'll just put these over here. Neptune and Mercury. 
And we'll change these two to oracles, just because it looks nice. I wanted, like, oracles all the way around, with a few markets and engineer's posts, that's fine. So now, food should be coming over this side. There we go, that's now doing that. We can set this to getting oil as we import more oil. Are all these warehouses functioning? Not quite. There's houses there, there's houses there. They come up this way. That's not a problem. Go ahead and have that. These villas seem to be staying strong now, now that these four markets... <laughs> this, uh, this trample arch, uh, it really should be a gatehouse, but it's okay. So we're importing three types of food there, all that food's coming in this way, okay, looks good. You can see there, food is starting to come in. And... And this is one way of doing it, but what's annoying is it seems like the granaries can't get from the warehouses which are also set to getting. The granary in the warehouse should also set to... Yeah, it's currently set to getting. You can see that, getting wheat. But it doesn't seem like they want to get wheat. Uh, so oil has come in, furniture has come in. That one's getting pottery, this one's getting pottery. So we're waiting for all of the stuff to come this side. We're short by 166 people, that's a bit extreme. Uh, with all of these food production buildings. We could probably get rid of some wheat farms. Yeah, I think we have too much wheat coming in. We could probably cut back on weapon production, actually. Let's do that. We can cut back a bit on... Yeah, we're just gonna cut back on some industries here. That needs to be there, that needs to be there. Is there anything we can cut back on? We're probably still producing too much timber. Oh, that doesn't have access to workers. They're walking up this way, huh. We can probably get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so food's coming on down. Each warehouse getting food will need to have stocks more than four loads to start sending food to the granary nearby. Ah, thank you, counting. Thank you. So once there is... There we go. Food is just taken. Yeah, there we go. Granary has priority. So now the granaries are filling up with two types of food. We're waiting for the pottery to come down. Uh, but yeah, I think we, we should just start setting up a housing area. Yeah. And I know I didn't want to reuse block designs, but... It's just so fitting to use what we have here. We're gonna need gatehouses here. Can I fit a gatehouse like right there? And a gatehouse like right here? There we go. And we can have the next couple gatehouses do I want these blocks aligned? No, I'll keep it like that. Okay, so now we've got room for two housing blocks. We'll clear a bit of space there, and we could have a housing block here. And yeah, okay, let's not let's not do any standard block design. We're just gonna go one, two, three. Make sure there's space for three there, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And this road comes along like this. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 12. We'll keep it like that for now. So we can have housing block there, which we will put down some houses like that. Just get an engineer's post down while we can. Okay, that'll support that. And we'll have another housing block here. Which I suppose we could do kind of the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We can have two housing blocks right there. <laughs> this seems excessive, but it looks good, right? It's working. It's working, right? 
And we'll have a row of houses here, and we'll have the same sort of thing, engineer's post can go right there. Use the one tile limitation. Reservoir can go right here, and we're gonna need a reservoir over here. So we can have an aqueduct coming out this side. Make sure there is a road break here in the middle. And we're gonna need a reservoir like there. And have this aqueduct. And we can have just have the aqueduct go around like this. There we go. And we can now have fountains going around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It would actually be more efficient if I... ...did that, right? No, like that. That would actually be more efficient, because it'll reach out to the... ...out to the edge, yeah? Can I actually move it one more? One, two, three... I could probably do... Actually, no, I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do that for symmetry, and we can then have like medium statues like that. Gardens, no, gar gardens just don't look good when you, when you do things like that. There we go. <laughs> Small statues, okay. Uh, same thing on this side, we'll keep it uh, symmetrical. Does that not reach? How do I get the reservoir down that side? That's another question. Could do something like this. And have the aqueduct. Hmm. If I line this up, it'll look good. Aqueduct comes through like that, wraps around. Like that, and we can do some road openings there. Okay, looks good. Look, we've actually stocked up on food, really. Wow, we have shot by 96 employees. I guess we, we just start feeding them then, right? Uh, market. Can go like here, and there. Actually, we'll try to keep this looking as symmetrical as possible. They're not exactly symmetrical, by the way. This gatehouse is one off. I could fix it if I remove this, remove this, remove this, clear off these roads, and just shift the gatehouse down one this way. Then we can keep it symmetrical. Yep, yeah. yeah. Break that, break that. We can have then... Now that, that looks wrong. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a nice looking two by two road. <laughs> I like the two by two roads, they're just not functional. And you know what, we'll plaza all of this up as well. Plaza the whole area. That aqueduct is sort of messing with things. If I actually, like, just did it like this instead, and we break this aqueduct, can we do this, or is it, like, fixed? It has to be there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we're starting to feed people here. Uh, let's get the desirability things over on that side. Medium statues. We're gonna get small statues over here. Services will go on that side and that side. Okay. And we'll wait for these houses to get fed. There we go. I like, I like how this looks. I like how this looks. Ooh. Look at that, this is actually working. Now, is the rest of our city falling apart? No, it's all okay. 
Well, we used up all of that pottery. Can I get more pottery workshops? We could do this, we could do this. Oh, that does not fit there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's okay, I guess. Food over here has stabilized. Would you look at that? Which means we could try fit in like another house. We'll slowly add houses. By the way, these two temples, Mercury and Neptune. Let's shift them over to this side. Uh, Mercury. And Neptune. Looks good, looks good. These things now need local religious facilities. We're gonna need like services now so theater theater actor colony is this where it goes yeah i suppose actor colony gladiator school can go down this side And a backup engineer's post because just in case I don't want any of this stuff collapsing. It's the final invasion! We never got that blessing from Mars. We never got that blessing from Mars. But th this is the final invasion. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the one that I never saw in the initial playthrough because I've won by this point because I was just using like 9 by 9s and it's easy. This time we're doing a lot of challenges like getting villas and stuff. Okay, here we go, here we go. Slow down, where are they coming from? This side, so almost guaranteed for them to come through here. We've been waiting for this. Okay. Let's pull these guys back a bit. Need to make sure these guys are protected. With the horsemen on the front to take the brunt of the force. Here they come, here they come. We've got four towers on the back of this, which probably is not correct. We probably should just fill this up with towers, yeah? So we have a total of eight towers, okay. Because the tower shooting a ballista is better than the sentry on top of it. It's fine, it's fine. We could probably just start luring some of them in so we can deal with this with minimal casualties. I hope everything on this side's going okay. Nothing's collapsing. What do these guys need? Schools? Okay, here we go. Have schools. That's fine. Oh, we got a bit too close. Come on. Come attack us first. Let's lure you in. Yes, yes. Baiting them. Kill a few of them there. Okay, okay. Bring these guys up there. There we go. Let the horsemen take the brunt of the damage for now. Okay. It's not too... It's actually not too big of an invasion. I think the previous invasion was, was bigger than this. There we go. Horsemen took a lot of damage already, and they're already on retreat. Look at this guy. Hassan. See, if you handle these things properly, you basically don't lose anything. <laughs> oh, those horsemen. They've regrouped there. Let's bring these guys in. Okay. Yeah, I think the last invasion was actually bigger than this. Are they, are they tired? Did we wear them out from the last invasion? Here come the elephants though, okay. Ooh, the towers just do so much damage. Are they actually gonna start retreating? Are they, are they running away? I think they're running away, would you look at that? 
Come on, elephants! Now, if we could lose nothing but horsemen, that would actually be good. <laughs> but I'm not sure... Yeah, elephants just sort of trample through everything. Ooh, there go a couple horsemen. And we beat it. Look at that. They're all running away. Did we just lose horsemen? Because that would be amazing. We've learned how to be very efficient with our, with our soldiers. <laughs> just the horsemen took the beating. Two horsemen survive. Is it two? I think it's two, right? Uh, yeah, two horsemen survive and the rest of them died. And none of our other soldiers died. Would you look at that? Okay, now back over to this side. Plenty of pottery here. Let's make sure the other areas are maintaining their resources. Our carts returning from delivery, returning from delivery. Yeah, we're, we're struggling to keep up with uh, some things here. I think I am just going to move the actor colony over to this side to fit more pottery workshops. Because we need to start converting more of this stuff. Oh, we're actually, yeah, we're actually really low on employees. We got to boost that up. Entertainment and health take a hit. Yeah. 5,000 people. There we go. 5,000 people. And we actually never put a fountain down this side. Isn't that nice? Um, an oracle can go there, though. Help with desirability. Because there is enough food here, we'll slowly add houses to make sure this market can keep up with food supply. But we need more pottery. We just need... Can we import pottery? No, we cannot import pottery. We have to just convert it all. Two extra pottery workshops should help speed this along. Plenty of pottery is on this side. What do these guys need? Bathhouse? Yes. Uh, baths. And go right there and there, leaving space for amphitheaters here and here. There we go. I should actually move things over to that side. Forums, we gotta start taxing people. Get rid of that. Uh, forum, and go right there, okay. Waiting for bathhouse access. We need more things to move in. Look at that. We filled up the warehouses with food. <laughs> ah, there's plenty of food going around here. Fantastic. All of these markets are stocked to the brim because there's just so much stuff. By the way, this three deep housing seems super stable, which is fantastic. Because it's three deep housing, the two by twos can actually get access by these market ladies on the outside, which is, I just love it. Okay. Okay. Now, why is there still no bathhouse access? Oh right, because health and education take the hit. Let's just boost this up. Can we let food production take a hit instead? Because food is actually something we have plenty of. So we've overput farms, so we can let that take a hit. It's just this side I'm gonna be careful about. Okay. There we go. We need these houses to evolve. Clinic and hospital, so we need a doctor. Like that. What else do we need? We're gonna need barbers. Willing to trade more clay. Fantastic. Because we need to produce more more stuff here. Uh, <laughs> can I make this any more efficient? I mean, I could move the pottery industry. I didn't expect to be using this much pottery. Can I road fit back here? I could probably do that. Get one extra potter there. 
Okay, we're producing quite a lot of pottery. Hopefully it's enough to, to maintain the supply. These houses have evolved. They now need library. Okay, library goes there and there. Uh, is there anything else they need? I don't think so, right? It's just resources at this point. Yeah. And then we can slowly start adding houses once these are stabilized. As more people move in, we're shot by 156, okay. Because we have been building in an inefficient way, uh, we actually need the housing for more people to move in. So I guess we now add in the second row of houses, like that. Are all these markets stocked up on meat? Yes, we're importing meat for a third type of food for the villa area. Plenty of food there, okay. Plenty of food being supported there, okay. So we can have more people move into that side. Food production is the one that's short on employees, okay. Everything else is working a-okay. More people will move in and solve that issue. Okay, and I don't think there's any more invasions on the way, right? Yeah, we managed to stay until the final invasion. Ah, okay, okay. So we definitely can beat this mission. Maybe another half hour, maybe another half hour. Just need to boost our population by another 1,500, which we should be able to support here. It should be okay. Let me just check. Is pottery still coming in? Pottery is struggling a little bit. There's still pottery there. Okay, so that should be fine. There's still pottery, furniture, weapons. This is getting more pottery there. Okay. Furniture is actually taking a hit from this side. So I guess we need more... A bit more furniture coming in here. Right? We've used up all the clay, wow. But we, we can trade more clay, right? How much are they selling per year? 40 units? Okay, that should be fine. It's August now, the traders will come in and sell us more clay, which will be good. Money is staying above 10,000, there we go, we're getting large insulates. I'm not planning on getting uh, any grand insulates on this side. We could go ahead and put down a couple oracles like that. Just to make sure desirability is okay. And we're probably going to need an oracle here as well to combat that desirability issue on that side. Letting these houses evolve, more people to move in. That'll handily get us to 6,000, I think. One market should be able to maintain all of this, but for safety, I probably need two markets. Distant battle. Oh, it's not the final invasion. There's one more. Counting. Counting TLS in chat. You know more about this game than anyone else I know. Is this next invasion going to be bigger, like the biggest one? Because I don't know when the final invasion is. I thought that last one was the final invasion. Is that the final invasion? Is that one going to be bigger? Because I'd, I'd love to wait and see what the final invasion is. Because I've heard it's huge. But it's so easy to win, even with me taking my time doing challenges like the, the 3D housing and getting six villas here. And look at our ratings, it's just off the charts. Culture's a little low, but it's okay. <laughs> and doing things like this. You know, look, we're, we're approaching 6,000 people already. We're just waiting for some things to come in here. I should actually move these four into these four. It would actually be more efficient, wouldn't it? That's fine, it's working as is. Ah! Can someone confirm to me if that is the final invasion and that it's gonna be the biggest one? And we'll just keep putting some oracles here to keep desirability up. We could have an oracle... Oracle can go there, actually. It does not need road access. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So there we are at 6,000 people. Some of these houses still not evolved, needs a supply of pottery. Waiting for these markets to, to really get going. I can't believe we're still above 10,000. Money, I mean. There we go, evolve. Make that market look a bit nice. Can we, can we just do like some nice, cool looking things back here? Like a large statue behind there. Have like some small statues there. Medium statues, just fill it up with statues. It kind of looks nice when you fill it up with statues, right? There's a gap there. I deleted a house to do that. Let's put a house down there. There we go. Okay. So these houses are now evolving. Waiting for a supply of pottery. Yeah, I, I think I gotta shift this around a bit. I'm gonna set this one here to getting pottery. And this one here to accepting pottery and getting wheat. And I'm gonna shift the furniture to here. So this is gonna be getting furniture. And this one will be set to accepting furniture and getting wheat. And this one here is gonna be set to, how do I wanna do this? This one here is gonna be set to getting oil. This one's gonna be set to accepting oil and getting, wait, accepting oil and getting wheat. Because this one is wheat and we've just made it oil and we need a second one on pottery. So this one is gonna be set to getting pottery. And this one is currently set to accepting and getting wheat. Okay, there we go. So we're shifting the four resources onto these four and keeping those four out there as wheat so that... How did that suddenly get wheat so quickly? Not sure. So that uh, these four warehouses are now closer to the market, so the markets are walking a shorter distance. Ah. Uh. Why not increase wage rates to 10 above Empire and increase taxes to 10 to 11%? Oh, we are actually losing money. We are actually losing money. Uh, so we could increase wages to like 10 above Empire and set this to like not that high. So at least we pay our own wages with a bit of profit on it. Yep. Yeah, okay. We are still exporting things, right? Oh, it's a new year and they haven't bought our resources yet. Okay, so we have actually dropped below 10,000 denarii here. Ah, not to worry. We're, we just need another 800 people, which you can see it's actually really easy. All these houses just evolved. Extra room for 54, extra room for uh, 8, 18. That one's sort of filled up already. This one, there's plenty of room here. 49, 42, 220, 54, 54. Yeah, so there's plenty of room to move in here. Are these markets staying stocked up? I don't even know why I brought two types of food over this side. I'm not going for grand. I mean, I guess with two food, I could go for grand. Could I actually pull it off? I probably could pull it off. There's a gladiator school there. What is employment like with all these people? Unemployment 7%, so we sorted that out. Can I... Can I actually pull this off? It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. I move the reservoir... to here. Have the aqueduct. Let me do this safely. No, 
Now I need that space. Can I actually fit it? I could, I could. Run out of furniture? So that's no longer accepting that. This is no longer accepting oil. This is no longer accepting pottery. We've shifted it over. Why did our... Why have our granaries... Oh, because there's not enough wheat in each one of these. There is still enough food here, right? Yeah, there's still enough food there. It's just the first feeding, I think. Took up a lot of food. But now if I put a Colosseum here and here and combat desirability with Oracle. Oracle. Do that there. I could have Oracle there as well. Okay. We can actually have Colosseums. <laughs> this is amazing. Can't believe I pulled it off. So we can get these up to Grand Insulates. We can get Grand Insulates here. We have two types of food. I wish there was an empty command because this, these resources are all sort of split up a bit. These have... Yeah, they need furniture. They're getting furniture from just over there. Could do with a bit more furniture coming in, I think. We never even finish off those wolves. The wolves are still wandering around out there outside our walls. <laughs> okay. Besides that, all of this looks good. We're maintain ma maintaining our money. Just empty warehouse. Is there actually a... Oh, there is an empty button. Look at that. But I think I just have to sort of wait for food to be grabbed over because the card pushers are all away right now anyway oil's come in oil is maintaining there oil's maintaining there pottery's still there okay a bunch of people moved out from somewhere i'm not sure where these all have a hundred occupants each so there's 600 occupants which are uh, villas. Let me just check commerce, tax income. They are covered by tax. Okay, that's good. 600. Why is... Why are these market ladies just not getting enough furniture? Okay, okay. I think having so many markets is actually depleting a lot of the... Uh, depleting a lot of the food because it's so spread out. See, there's like 200 vegetables there, 16 vegetables there. Yeah, but we're a bit low on food. We kind of need more food coming in here. Can I boost it up even more? If I do this... It's a bit weird. Uh, let me move the engineer's post. Let me put another warehouse here. Set this to getting wheat as well. So we can at least boost up the wheat supply. There we go. Ah. 204 BC, 108 Carthaginians and 12 elephants from the northeast. Is that the final invasion? It's on the way now. I'm just waiting for food supplies to stabilize here. We're still grabbing as much as we can. Besides that, resources seem to be okay. Bringing more furniture over, yeah, okay. There we go, those are now Grand Insulase. Is that... needs a second type of food, okay. So we've actually got Grand Insulase all around here. 
And if we can wait until food stabilizes, we can boost that population up some more. We can fit another house here, I think. And we'll just sort of medium statue it up here. Yeah, that looks fine. So we've fit in a bunch of extra people here. These, how much do these house? 84, an extra 84 can sit there while these move in there. That's gonna be up to about 6,500. So we just need another 500 people. If food stabilizes here, you can see it's starting to, it's starting to. We can slowly add a few houses here and there as these have filled up for the most part. Yeah, we've got six room for 6,500 already. We just need more furniture here, actually. We've got unemployment, so it's fine. We can put that timber yard back. There we go. And I'm actually very happy with how this... Oh, 204 BC is seven years before your current in-game year. All right, but it's counting down. It's counting down. Uh, JJ Alexander says that was supposed to be the largest one. Really? The 204 BC? The last invasion was... The, I think the last, last invasion was the biggest one, right? It was a, The last, last invasion was pretty huge. I think this one coming in is the final invasion. They're two steps in. They've got another two steps to go. So yeah, plus that, plus that. Yeah, that's 6-5. And is food stabilizing? We've got vegetables. Vegetables, okay. I guess now we just slowly add houses here and there. What's the reach of this water? We'll just put like single tile houses there. They'll expand into two by twos later on. Actually fit in there. Is there. There is water there. But that's gonna need another oracle to deal with that desirability issue. Money's back over 10,000 though, so that's good. So we're bringing in more wheat. Food supply is doing okay. I delete, did I delete a bunch of wheat farms? I did not, right? Yeah. Should be fine. So once there's eight units, then the granary can take it. If it's just 400 units or less, then the granary can't take it, I think. I think that's how it works, right? So yeah, there it took 800 and now it's depositing some wheat into this. I'm just watching how this actually counts. So, if it's more than 400 units, then it pushes it in, I think? That's now 500, and yeah, okay. And then now this 400 will sit there. And then it'll go get more. Yes, okay. So it gets 400, and then it deposits any surplus into the granary. That house has evolved, look at that. Uh, so that means I should probably do this, get rid of that, extend the road by one, plaza that up, get a warehouse right here, and we can boost up our vegetable getting. Because the vegetables are actually slightly further away, so we probably need to compensate for that more than anything. Okay, so this house now has... We can just slowly expand things. How is the crime near the houses? I actually do not have prefectures or anything, right? <laughs> Risks, crime. Mm. That should help deal with... I forgot about crime. <laughs> I don't know, I never really worry about crime. 
Wait, how do we deal with crime? It's not with prefectures, is it? There's no policeman. I forgot. I know, I never... I forgot about... Yeah, so... But these guys... This area is dangerous. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Really? Right? It's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Ah, can we take a look at census? Maybe you explain it. What is this? Looks like the um, the census. How long have we been here? Oh, we still got another 10 years solid before our population starts aging. We've got plenty of time. Look at that grand insulase down. We can just now drop another house there and we'll leave room for that there. And we'll have another oracle there. The gods must be incredibly happy. Mercury. Oh, wait, we... I'm shot by one Mercury temple? Since when? Oh, I deleted it over here, I think. And we're actually turning all the clay into pottery, that's good. I guess uh, we put a Mercury temple down there, that's fine. Huh. Okay. Food is still struggling, though. I could do this. Warehouse. Getting. Just to try bring more food over here. I can't fit any more warehouses down this side, though. <laughs> uh, having two types of food, I'm not too concerned about. I'm mainly concerned about just having the houses fed. I mean, there's a there's a good stock of food. Look at that. There's five. There's a thousand units of food able to be stocked into each house. So I don't think they'll ever lose so much food until they devolve. Oh, there's actually a desirability. Okay. Bring up a few more grand insulates there. Did I put a house there? I did put a house there. Got a house there. There's a house there with no water. Really? Oh, there's water. Okay. Alright, so as food comes in, that will deal with that problem. Can we squeeze any more houses around? It looks like this side is just about keeping up with food now. So that should be fine. I don't think I can fit any more houses on this side. Can I? I probably could, actually. Let's get rid of that and turn that into some houses. Let's get decorative with these fountains. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, so that's going to bring in another 84 people there. And we must be very close to being able to uh, accommodate all the people we need, right? This house here has evolved, okay. Yeah, we've basically hit our... We've, we've hit our target population. We're just waiting for people to move in at this point. These areas just have a little bit of a food problem because it's so far away. Because I can't fit any more people here. This, this block here is like 3,000 people just by itself because it's so efficient being 3D. I mean, I technically could probably fit more, but I don't really want to mess with that block. Oh, there's actually plenty of food here. We could get rid of those two, and that will solve our problem. We'll just put Oracle somewhere else. There we go. That should keep the gods happy, and... Yeah, there's plenty of food here, which means we could just populate that whole area, and that will easily get us to 7,000 people. But I want to face that, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this. 
and we're just gonna speed things along and try and make sure we stay below 7,000 people as we speed the game up and make sure nothing... We'll try and see if things are actually stable here. Because if we hit 7,000 people, we'll actually win the game. And I want to make sure we, we don't do that. I should actually delete houses from this side. We've, we've overbuilt houses on this side. I can't believe I got these to Grand Insulae though. I just need to, yeah, let's just delete some houses. We know we can win. I want to face this final invasion just to make sure we're not missing anything. That seems to be holding up, okay. How's our employment? 9%, okay. 6909, oh, okay, okay. Money's going back up. Resources are holding, I think. I mean, if, if it's too much of a pain to keep going. Reduce the quantity of the following goods. Okay. That hurts a little bit, but I think it's fine. How's food supply on this side? Still struggling. So yeah, I think I actually get rid of these houses. And we'll actually populate up this side. Like that. Okay, okay. We're just speeding along until the final invasion. Because I want to see what we're dealing with. Just to make sure there is no big invasion that I'm just skipping past or anything like that. There we go. There we go. Now, let's just see if this is really the biggest invasion or we're already past that one. They're coming from that side, okay. Uh, I think it was safest to bring the troops this side first and then move them to the other side if required. And now that this invasion is here, we can just get people moving in. Uh, then we'll bring these guys. They might come down the right side, but it's safest to move it here first. Now, let's see how big this is. No, it's just, it's just the same size. Now, which way are you going? Are you coming down this way? You actually are. Would you look at that? You know what? And since this is the final invasion, I'm just going to stand my ground and kill them. Well, let's... Uh, no, we should keep this formation. Is this the best formation we could do? I probably should lengthen it. This is probably not as efficient, but it'll cover more ground. All right, there we go. And we're just gonna stand here and let them crash into us. And of course, we'll, we'll use the horses up first. There we go, there we go. They actually don't stand a chance. Being OCD with soldiers, yeah. <laughs> Again, can we lose only horsemen? Come on, towers, fire at these elephants. There we go, yes. Beat them, and only lost horsemen, yes. So, we did already go through the final mission, and Saddam, Hassan, and Ali Baba, the Carthaginian soldiers, is gonna be... Gone. <laughs> uh, counting TLS says, I checked all the raw data, there are way more invasions ahead in the future. Really? Really. Soldier Luke says, Gamezak, how are you? We're good, because we're about to win. These houses should have come in and evolved already. Which means, looking down this side... I don't know if food supply has actually stabilized on this side. It's hard to tell. Oh, it has, actually. We could just go ahead and get these houses down. 
Ah, and as we're about to win, let's just go over the city one last time. This was the first epic giant map. 7,000 people on a difficult map with a ton of military. This is the first real map that tests your skills. Uh, and invasions go all the way up until the year 65 September. Really, they, they plan to stay on this map for a long time. But anyway, we've done this three deep housing right here. Look at that. This is, this is the, the jewel of the city. Uh, three tiles in, two by twos with a row of one by ones in front of them. So they have access to rows on both sides. It's great. Look at all of these farms. It's so much cleaner. And this is so different from my first playthrough. We've got a housing area over here with a bit of farmland over there, supporting all of this, which is looking great. This one is not getting access to a school, apparently. That's annoying, but whatever, that's fine. We've got maximum uh, level housing on this map. Six of them at Grand Villas. They need a second type of wine. Look at that. Walking through the Triumphal Arch, importing meat, plenty of stuff being distributed. And two housing areas down this side near the entrance of the city with all of these warehouses get, uh, set to getting. So it's bringing all the food over from all of this overproduction of food on this side which is fantastic. And we actually got Grand Villas down this side because it's got two types of food. We've only got uh, large insulates down here. Not Grand Villas, rather. Uh, grand Insulates. Uh, but there we go. We have done it. We have done it. I can't believe we've actually beaten this map. And quite handily, I would say so myself. Uh, <laughs> I think this is probably the most interesting and biggest and nicest map I've done. It's done so properly. This is so stable. Nothing's devolved in ages. Service is all on the inside. It looks great. So much food around the outside. All this getting through the warehouses. These houses look immediately become grand insulates. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's fine. I know gardens just don't look that great, do they? I'm just gonna fill this up with small statues because it looks a bit empty. There we go. Okay, and we just need eight people and there we go. Victory. Let's go ahead and accept promotion. That Hannibal could cross the Alps with his elephants was amazing. That Mediolanum would prosper despite his assault is a miracle. Your success turns the tide of the Punic War in Rome's favor. All Rome thanks you. All right, and that is Mediolanum in Caesar 3. It's the first real map that tests if you actually know what you're doing. And we finally did it. It took a long time. It took a lot of parts, a lot of streams. Uh, but let's go see what we're up against next. And next up are the famous missions, the ones that I think are the toughest missions in the map. We've got Lugdunum, a peaceful province, and we have Carthago, a dangerous province. And those two maps are the big ones. Those are, those are the real difficult ones. We really got to know what we're doing after that. But if you're watching on YouTube, just click the buttons on the screen right now and it'll take you to those videos. But make sure you go back and watch its military or peaceful counterpart as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.